Okay, we are going to be starting off with a clean face. First up, I'm using a clean and clear Walgreens face wash and my favorite Epionce moisturizer. Here I am today cleaning my face because that's really important before you put on your makeup. Now I'm going to clip back my bangs. Next up, I'm going to put a little bit of Vaseline on my lips. In Oregon, my lips tend to get really super dry, so I like to have a little bit of Vaseline on them throughout the day. And here I am picking up my foundation. It's CoverGirl Aqua Smooth in Classic Ivory, and I am going to go ahead and place that on my face and then blend it in using a sponge and then my fingers. I'm going to pick up my Revlon Age Defying Concealer and gently rub that in underneath of my eyes and down the side of my nose. I tend to get more breakouts along the side of my nose, and I also don't really sleep much at night, so I tend to have bags under my eyes. This concealer is amazing. It is nice and thick, and it corrects my spots really well. Sometimes I get a little bit of redness as well, so it does a great job. Next, I am picking up my powder, and this is a CoverGirl translucent powder, and I am going to powder in my T-zone and then fill in the rest of my face with whatever is left on the brush. I tend to get most oily in my T-zone, so that's where I like to powder first. Okay, straight on to contouring, I am going to pick up my MAC Powder Blush in Harmony, which is a matte. And I am going to use that for my contour. I'm going to take my fluffy brush and start at the conch of my ear. And I'm going to work that down my face right at the lower bottom of my cheekbone. I'm also going to work that down my jawline. And then I am going to work it down the sides of my nose and up into my hairline a little bit to warm my face up. I'm going to pick up my blush. This is also from MAC. It's a powder blush in a frost, so it means it has a little bit more shimmer, and this is called Margin, and I'm going to work this onto the apples of my cheeks with a flat top fluffy brush, bent, blending it backwards towards my ears as well. For my highlight, I am using MAC Light Scapade in a Skin Finish Mineralized Powder. I'm going to actually use my ring finger with this and place it on the top of my cheekbones. I'm going to go down my nose with it and to my cupid's bow as well. I am picking up my NYX. It is an eyeshadow base in a flesh tone color and I'm going to gently work that all over the lid of my eye. And then I'm going to take my MAC Heirloom palette and pick out the color Noble Spirit. I'm going to use this to fill in my eyebrows for a lighter daytime look with a flat brush. I like to start in the middle and work my way out. That way I don't have a ton of definition right in the very start of my eyebrows because that is a little bit strange. Back up my palette, I am going to go for the color Kid, which is a nice taupey brown, and I'm going to use that in the creases of my eyes to give them a little bit of definition. I'm using just a fluffy blending brush from e.l.f. here. Next, I am going to take the color Honey Lust, which is right next to Kid. It is a rose gold type of shimmer color, and I am going to apply that to the inner corner of my eyes and work it out. Down, 
Now I am going to pick up my MAC 219 brush and go for the color Fancy Dress, which is a warm pinkish color, and I'm going to use that to highlight my brow bone. Here I am picking up my Maybelline Master Kajal Eyeliner, which is really nice. It's a crayon type consistency, and I am going to just use this in the outer corner of my eyes. I'm not going to line my entire lid with it. Alright, so that was my daytime look. Now, I will usually have about 10 minutes between activities to get home, change into a more nighttime appropriate look, and leave. So first, I am going to go ahead and pick up my um, eyebrow kit that I picked up at Ross this year. It's kind of just an off-brown kit, but I really like it. And I'm going to go ahead and take the Christmas tree style brush and brush my eyebrows out. And then I'm going to take the medium color and go ahead and fill in my eyebrows so they are a little bit darker for the evening. Next I'm going to pick up my MAC Heirloom palette again and I am going to go for the color Noble Spirit that I used on my eyebrows earlier, except for this time I'm going to take that and fill in my crease with it, making my look a little bit darker. Now I'm going to pick up my contour again and darken my contour and my blush. Throughout the day I end up touching my face a lot, which I know is horrible for my face, but then my powder will usually wear off, so I just need to touch it up and make a little bit of a darker dramatic look for the evening. Next, I'm going to pick up my pigment set from MAC. There are a lot of beautiful pigments in this set, and I am going to pick the Rose Gold Pigment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tap a little bit of this gently into the lid of the bottle, and I'm going to use my fluffy blending brush again and take that on the inner corner of my eyelids, working it out, kind of giving them a little bit more of a shimmer and a disco ball effect, um, which is really pretty to wear out in the holiday season, I think. Next, I'm going to take my Benefit Their Real Push-Up Liner, and I'm going to line the entire length of my eyelid. I'm going to thicken it a little bit towards the ends, and then go ahead and wing it out. Um, in general, I love wearing dark, thicker eyeliner. I just don't think it's always appropriate for a daytime look. And uh, the Benefit Push-Up Liner really makes it easy to make a wing, and so I appreciate that about the product. It is probably my favorite product of 2014. Also, you'll notice that I still gently tug at the corner of my eye while I am doing my makeup. I know that this is unacceptable and will cause me wrinkles later in life, but I have not yet mastered eyeliner without that technique. I am working on it, though. Then you will go ahead and just add a pop of hot pink lip gloss, and you are set, girl. You can leave the house for the night, not get home till early morning, if you have that kind of life. Just kidding, because I don't, but... <laughs> 